When Martha and I get to the runway in an airplane, we always do one last kind of a safety check, and it's a, a self-briefing of the critical items. What, what, you know, we feel that identifying the risks and managing, managing them is the key to our flying safely. So we do a last checklist right at the runway. We call it the CORD checklist, C-H-O. RRD, you gotta, you gotta trill your R's to make this work. But it's the core checklist. And what we do is a quick check. What are the conditions right now? What are the hazards associated with that conditions? And what are we going to do differently because of those hazards that we just now thought about and identified? It's like crosswind, slick runway, uh, potential possibility of icing right, af right after takeoff, low clouds. Um, and so we think about the hazards. One last check of all the hazards associated with this trip, and then what operational changes. And we always check how much runway is available, how much runway is required, and, and if you're flying a Cirrus, that normally won't be a problem, depending on the runway you're using. And what's the return procedure? How am I going to get back if all of a sudden I lift off and the engine starts running rough? And if you have that thought out just in advance, it'll just make it a lot less stressful for you. Can you return VFR? You're going to have to go to another airport. You're going to set up for an ILS back to this airport. So for every takeoff, we think about how we're going to get back if we have a problem. And finally, you do the last thing. What is the departure procedure? And for us, it's heading and altitude. What are we, what's our heading? What's our altitude? So we go through that. just a quick checklist. It takes less time than I did to say it here. And it's the cord checklist. We do it just, just as we're getting ready to take the runway, just before we, we, we get to the end of the runway, we'll go through, okay, what's going on here? What are the hazards? What operational changes? Um, uh, how, how much runway required? How are we going to get back? What's our departure procedure? Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.